do 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 um, wonder if I was live or not. Hello everybody. Um, bear with me one second while I get the old iPad opened up. Uh, here we go. And then I'll be able to see what's going on. Um, let's see. Here we go, we're opened. Hello Susan, hello Cheryl, Sharon, Nicole, Susan, Kimberly, Gail. Hello. Wow. How are you all blinking doing this mighty fine whatever day it is? Um, I know it's a Wednesday, that's as far as I know. Um, apart from that, I don't really know much more. Um, but never mind, what else do we need to know? It's Wednesday! It's Wednesday, folks, and it's almost Christmas time, according to my thing. It's 84 days till Christmas, but I think that's a lie. I think Ruri has been playing with the countdowner, because um, I'm sure it's only like 26 or something. Something like that, something like that. Never mind. Never mind, how are you all? How are you all doing? Oh, what's all going on here? Oh, Rona loves the tree. Yeah, we got the Christmas tree up. We did it. Why did I do it? I can't mind. Um, did it a couple of days ago. Um, hold on, have a wee drink. I just got a smaller bottle. Oh, that's better. Got a mouth like a parrot's cage. Bottom of a parrot's cage. Um, so, yes, yes, yes. How are you all this mighty fine wedding's day? It's pretty damn, pretty damn good, isn't it? Pretty damn, pretty damn uh, cold, to be fair. Pretty damn cold. So, I am going to be doing some live way free readings. Yes, we are. We're sitting here. Yes. We're in, we're in the love seat. This chair is seemingly called the love chair. How this chair could be called the lover's chair, I have got no idea on earth. Because you're lucky to even fit my little skinny arse on it. Never mind two people's skinny arse on it. But it's one of those little love bugs, you know, it hugs around and it hugs you. And you could you could twirl around like this, you know, you could... Fuck, I'm stuck. Um, but you could twirl yourself, oh, 360 around all that jazz. Why it's called the love seat, I've no idea. Because you can only fit my ass on it. Me and Ern's arse, no quite fit. But never mind. We're in the love seat. We're in front of the tree. And we're feeling awfully festive. Who's got the tree up? Come on. I want to know. I want to know. Right. Let's see what some of you are saying. Oh, jelly and Griffins. It's bloody freezing. It's worse than bloody freezing. It's absolutely Baltic. It's Baltic, love. Absolutely Baltic. Um, that's all we've got to say on the weather at this time. Val Eason, hi John, tree looking lovely. Do you know what? It's been decorated three times. Three blinking times and it's no because of the cats. No, we've not had a cat in the tree yet. Yes, we've lost a few baubles on the bottom of the tree. So they've all been removed and moved further up. Okay, but that was the cats. No, Ethan. Ethan is obsessed by Christmas trees. Can you believe it? He's been in there twice. He's had it sitting on top of him. He was climbing over the top of it. We're like, ah, well, he turned her back for 30 seconds. So Erin is like getting a little bit peed off that she needs to keep decorating the tree. But, hey, she will have kids, you know? She will have kids. So, too bad. I am thinking of maybe building a wee cage around it. Somebody did put a picture up and they had their Christmas tree inside a dog crate. A little bitty big to fit it in a dog crate. It's just a little bitty big. So I don't think that'll work. But we'll maybe put, I don't know, maybe tie string from the chair to the wall. Uh, make like a wee fence. That might work. Who knows? Um, but we could try. Shannon, I'm dreading putting the tree up. My cat's climb it and knock it down. We ain't had a cat up it yet. And we've got three of the wee beggars. Um, but no, no cat up it yet. Thank you. I think spirits looking after whether like, no, John, we're not going to give you cats. We're going to give you blooming children instead. Yes. So there we go. We've had that. Um, Chemist Sparkles. Hi, John. Hope you and Erin are well. And kids, my wee man still poorly, poorly let this be over. Snowman present. Snowman. Oh, hope he gets better soon, sweetness. Hope he's better soon. Um, Jeanette N. John Jackson, tell me something I don't know. Not 
of my page book, but the answer um, is it is it doesn't work like that. Um, I've got no idea what your haver in love, um, but reading your comment, you're saying tell me something that's not on my Facebook page. Tell me how I could look at your Facebook page, love. Uh, this is a business page. I can't see your Facebook page. I see your comment. I struggle to see your fucking picture, love. Um, so here's an answer for you. Do one. Right, let's carry on. Uh, can't be bothered with time wasters, folks. Um, right, let's see what else is going on. I love listening to you. Ah, Jeanette. I love you being here, sweetness. I do. It's great fun. Um, I love it being here. What have you been up to? Look, the bump has disappeared, folks. Oh, I've got a wee dot now. Look at this. Just a wee dot. What a bloody klutz I am, eh? Absolute klutz. Um, so there we go. There we go. Uh, hi, John. Could I have a reading, please? Stacey, I will be opening up the spirit door very, very soon. So stay where you are. Stay where you are. Do, 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 do. I feel very mystical tonight. It's awfully. Maybe you should have put the light on. Hey, I'm a, I'm a wee bit dark. I wanted to show my lights off on my Christmas tree. <laughs> Uh, Meg Watson, what are we doing tonight? Meg, I don't know. Where are you taking me, love? I'll do whatever you wish. Where are we going? <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, we'll be doing some live mini readings in just a few minutes, so stay exactly where you are. Uh, we'll be opening up the spirit door. We'll be doing some readings. We're just waiting on the audience, building up a wee bit. We're letting everybody come in. We're in a wee chin wag, and we're talking absolute googly gook nonsense. <laughs> Until we start the readings. Obviously, when we start the readings, we will become sophisticated human beings yet again. But until that point, uh, we're no. <laughs> dee -dee 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 -dee. Barbara Allen, you're needing wrapped up in bubble wrap. I tell you, I think even if I'd wrapped myself in bubble wrap last week, something still would have happened. Yes. Even when I was just about to go out the door for my charity night that I was doing, um, I fell again, bent my finger all the way back. I was like, I was like, somebody in that spirit world's got it in for me at the minute. Yes, yes. But never mind, it was there. Shannon Amber, you remind me of a tea of Despicable Me. You remind me of tea of a Despicable Me. I don't even know who tea is on Despicable Me. Oh, I know they've got minions. So. As far as I'm reading that message, you're calling me a minion. That's all right, though. <laughs> you could come back. <laughs> don't know who T is. Who's T? What one's that? Somebody tell me. Somebody give me it. Um, oh, I love this. Anne-Marie Sims. Hi, Faye, Port Glasgow. Faye. All right. All right, mate. Faye, Port Glasgow. How you doing? Didn't know why I had to do it in that accent, but I did. I'm good. How are you? How are you? Um, Natalie Meader, newbie, newbie alert everybody, we've got a newbie alert, do, do, do. she's saying hello to everyone, so everybody say hello to Natalie, hello Natalie, welcome, pull up a queue, get yourself a cup of tea if you prefer a vodka, by all means have one, um, get yourself comfy, Shannon Amber, I meant to say Gru, now see, I know who Gru is, yes I do, but I don't know who T was. That's why I was a bit confused. I remind you of Gru. You try to say I've got a big pointy nose. We should have stuck at the T, love. You've just dug a big hole for yourself. Uh, <laughs> 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 I sometimes wonder who's mad at me or you. Um, right, let's carry on. Let's carry on. I'm loving reading your wee messages before I get started. I mean, I think the chat before the before the readings is fab. And I think it should be fab. Um, so there we go. <gasps> Chloe, God. Folks, we've got new newbie alerts. Two of them together. Chloe and Nicole. Hi, I'm a newbie. And Nicole say, newbie, please. Hi, everyone. Hello, newbie doobies. Um, for the newbies that are in, I call you my little sprats. So welcome, my little newbie sprats. Sorry, I'm itching my backside. Uh, <laughs> 
no, no very manly like, is it? Um, I was about to say lady like, but I'm not a lady neither. Oh, God, that's bad. I had a wee itchy bit. Um, know that any of you needed to know, but you were probably wondering why you were getting a close up of my nostrils. Um, so I just thought I would indulge you and let you know I was scratching me ass. Um, so there you are. Danielle McGill, love your tree. I love my tree as well. I do. It's looking rather. Normally we have a gold and. Normally it's gold and cream, that sort of theme. But Erin's always wanted a pink. She's always wanted to go pink for a Christmas tree, and I've always drawn the line. I'm like, no, darling, you can't have, you can't have a pink Christmas tree. Call me old fashioned, or just call me an ass. It doesn't matter. You can't have a pink Christmas tree. All right. But this year, I made her wish come true. I took her bobble shopping, and we came home with a load of blooming pink bobbles. Pink, pink and pink. Although we have got a bit of green in there as well because we're living room sort of greeny pink. Um, so there is some green in there as well. So, you know, she got her girly Christmas tree. Who, who has a pink Christmas tree, folks? I mean, it does look rather nice, but come on. A pink, pink Christmas tree? I did say if we see pink baubles when we're out, you could have them, darling. Not in a million years did I think the first shop we'd walk into there would be a whole blooming display of pink Christmas baubles. But no, there was... So she had to have them. So there you are. Pink tree. Barbara Allen, you're off your heat, John. Lol, you must be from Scotland. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jeanette Jenkins. Oh, where did that go? Love your text. Spot. So spot on, John. Thank you, senorita. Um, I do pride myself on having a fantastic text service. So thank you. Um... Pink, it's so pretty. Yes, it is, it's pink. We've got pink decorations all over the thing. We've got pink butterflies. We've even got little pink angel wings somewhere. Somewhere upon there. There is there they are. You'll not see them, they're off shot. Um, but little pink angel wings, and that's for our loved ones that are no longer with us, like my dad and Erin's granny. So we've got two sets there, one for each of them, so that they're here for Crimbo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, anyway, folks, if you're only just joining in, don't worry, we are going to be starting in just a couple of minutes, okay? Uh, we'll be starting your live free mini readings in just a couple of minutes. So start hitting your share button, start phoning your pals, get them a hard time on the phone, say feck Emmerdale, get on, John's online, he's about to do live readings in just a few minutes. Get your backside over there right now. Charlotte, do you do private readings? Yes, I do. You can book them on my website or through my mobile app. If you're doing it on the website, johnspratt.co.uk, go to the About John page and you'll see the big orange button that says Schedule an Appointment with John. Um, click on there, pick a date, pick a time, pick how long you want your reading to be. Bob's your uncle. You're done. You're in. You're in the gang once you've been there. Um... So, what else are we doing here? What else are we doing? Um, hey, John, how are you? I'm fab. I'm fab, folks. I'm fab, fab, fags. Um, I'm fags. I'm no fags. I'm fab. Um, Rona Ross, can I see your pink angel wings? Can you not see them fluttering from the back of me? No. You're a pain in the ass, love. Um, I'm going to get booted because I'm going to have to take it off. But here is the pink angel wings. Look at them. Dangle. Dangle. You could use them as earrings, folks. You can use them as like a nose stud. Um, you can just hang them on your fingers if you want and swing them. Or you can just do what they meant to do with them and just pop them on your Christmas tree. Um, so let me now pop this one back on the Christmas tree, hopefully in the right space. Or Erin will notice it when she comes in and I'll be blaming you lot. I'll be saying, wasn't it me, babe? It was those Facebookers that had me picking bits off the tree. Um, there you go. There you go. What sort of private readings do you do? I, d I don't know. Um, spirit readings, tarot readings, whatever you prefer, whatever you want to look at, darling. Um, I'm yours for that entire time. For me, I could uh, connect into loved ones in spirit. I can do psychic, so answer any questions you've got. Obviously, no hold bars, everything goes. Um, I could do your tarot spreads, I can do your oracle spreads, I can do your runestone readings, I can do your past life, I can do whatever you like. Um, I'm, I'm happy budding and I'm there for you. Yes, no matter what. Uh, 
Um, oh, they're lovely. Where did you get them from? They were from um, a shop. <laughs> I think they were from Home Bargains, actually, folks. Home Bargains, and I'm sure they did them in all different colours. You were able to get white ones, pink ones, green ones, um, yellow ones, orange ones, gold ones. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, DDD Livendale Mental Hospital for you, John. You've lost it. I lost it a long time. I didn't even think a mental hospital would be able to get me back. Tammy, how rude! Oh my God, that's crude. Do me. I can tell my wife's no one. People are asking to do me. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Oh dear, dear, dear. Um, do, 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 do. Right, so. Um, lol, I meant do you call or text or email? <laughs> I'm a little bit thick at times, love, sorry. Um, it's done, it could be done through voice, voicey voice call, or it could be done video to video call, or it could be done on messenger. Um, you get to pick that. When you're booking and you go through all the bits, it'll ask you how you would want your reading. You just tick the box for which way you want it, and it's done. Easy as pie. Arriba, arriba, arriba. Oh, talking about easy as pie. I don't know how pie ties in with this, what I'm about to tell you. But talking of pie just made me remember something. Tarot cards are back in stock, folks, on the website. Now, last week, and I think it was this time last week, I had over 120 tarot cards. They sell within 11 hours. I've got them back on. They're on the shop. So grab them quick if you're wanting them, because they do There'll be none left tomorrow. Um, so be fast, 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 fast. Don't do it just yet, right? I just lost three of you there. Three viewers there. You three, get, get your asses back here. Don't do it yet. Do it when the live's finished, all right? Um, if you need to get to my shop, it's on the website. Click on the tab that says shop, and you'll be shopping till your heart's content. Right, Kerry Winks, let's get started, my little spratlings. It's time to get started, and all my little newbies that are here as well. It is time to make sure you are liking the page, folks. It is time to start hitting the share button. It is time to get interacting with your little thumbs and your little love hearts and your little woos and your little ease. There's one. Um, get all those interactions going along that screen. Keep them all going. Keep your comments coming in. Now, important point regarding the comments. I've got an itchy fucking nose, folks. Right, bear with me. It's because I'm opening my door to the spirit world and they're coming in and playing with my nose now. Um, an important fact which we've been noticing recently whilst doing live. If you are commenting and you're just copying and pasting the same comment like, Hi, 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 hi. It's not going to show up. Okay, make sure you change your comment each and every time you're doing it, folks, or it'll just no show up. A um, lot of people also ask, did you see my message? We get hundreds of private messages after a live. Did you see my comment? Did you see our oh, folks? We could see all the comments. The only comments we don't see is when it starts getting busy and we get into the readings. If you're not liking the page, your comment isn't prioritised at all. Okay, and it's no us. It's no my fault. Um, it's Facebook. So make sure you're liking the page and you're interacting. The more you interact, the better chance your comment has got of showing on my little screen here. Now, I only see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight comments at a time. It is constantly moving. All right, so just keep on commenting, keep it coming in different, and we'll have a great old merry old time. All right, so the spirit door is now opened. I am inviting your loved ones to come forward and join me. Um, Lisa, would I be best with angel cards? Yes, you would, and I've got some in stock. I think there's four different, no, there's not, there's seven different kinds of angel cards I've got on my shop. Um, so your backside over there after this live no yet you go yet and you'll get your arse tanned you'll go over spratty's knee and you'll get boomed okay so stay where you are now um so let's get started folks if it's somebody from the spirit world you want to come in why just invite them forward invite them to come in if you've got a question whatever your question may be will i get the new house will i find love will i get this whatever it may be just ask it okay the name of the game when you're live with john is to be blunt and to the point 
nae beating around the bush because I can't be blinking arsed with it. Okay, so blunt and to the point, questions up. If I am drawn into your name, folks, I will come to you. If I'm not drawn into your name at that point, stay where you are because it could be you next. Okay, folks, let's get started. Let's have a wee look and let's see where we are going to start with. Okay, Gemma Eslicker. S S liker. Sorry, sounded wrong the first time I said it, did it? S liker. S liker. Gemma S liker. America, John, will I go? Yes or no? Let me connect in and let me have a wee look and see what my guys are saying for you, Gemma, here. Um, will you go to America? Will you not? Gemma, straight away as I'm connecting into you, I want to say yes here, but I'm wanting to hand fire just yet, okay? I really want to hold on just a wee bit longer. I feel you're the type of person that when you want something, you want it. You want it now, like me, okay? But I'm wanting to say to you, hold off a wee bit. There's a bit more planning that needs to be done, and I feel there's news and information going to be stepping forward to you before you can actually push forward with this. I do feel next year is definitely going to be the year for you and I do see that trip coming in, okay? So I want to say yes to you. I actually feel this is going to be quite good for you as well and I feel it's going to actually give you your confidence back when you're there. So take the love and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now, sweetheart. Um, let's see, where are we going? Um... Peter, Peter Griffins, Peter Griffins, uh, anyone there for spirit for me, John? Uh, let's have a connect in, Peter, and let's see who we have got coming in for you, okay? Peter, straight away as I'm connecting into your energy, I want to say your mum's in the spirit world, son, and I feel your mum connecting into me. I feel your mum's quite a small lady. She's only about five foot four as she comes in here, so really small as she's connecting into me. She's a slim lady as well. I feel this very slim uh, frame with her. I feel lovely blue eyes as she's connecting in here. She's got quite long hair. Uh, sort of just past the ears, I feel, coming sort of around the jawline. But I feel she liked it sort of back, you know. She hated it on her face because she's sitting here and it's like she's doing this to get her hair off her face, okay? I feel that your mum would have passed with cancer, son, because she's making me very aware of putting a big C in front of me and it's always a cancer sign for me. So I know your mum, Peter, would have passed with cancer. It's just coming in here, I feel your mum passed it home because she's saying, I got my wish, I got my wish, I got to pass it home. Your mum is someone who... Do you know, I want to say she was she was quite a stubborn woman, you know, she was always she was stuck in her own ways. She did everything her way. Um, and it's like if you tried to say to her, try it this way, she'd be no, 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 this way's easier. This is the way I'm wanting to do it. I feel she was a hard working lady and I do I feel she would work sort of two jobs. Okay. It's like she did two jobs at once here as I'm connecting into her. I feel that I, I need to connect myself with February, so it's either her birthday or her passing, but February would mean something to her. I feel as she's coming in here personality is quite bubbly. I feel very upbeat. A lovely, lovely character. Now, I feel she's coming in round about yourself at this moment in time, and she's she's wanting to give you a wee bit of a push. I want to say everything's gone downhill over the last sort of three weeks where, you, you know, the last three weeks has been close the door, shut away, lock yourself in a room, because it's been one thing after the other, I feel. And your mum's coming in and she's saying, I'm by your side, I'm changing things and I'm helping with the energy, okay? I am very much aware there's a job situation that's hanging around you at this moment in time and it should I, shouldn't I? And I feel your mum's trying to guide you on that direction. I actually feel, yes, you should, okay? Peter, take the love from your mum and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Bless you. Um... Let's see, where are we going now? Where are we going now? So that's the way it works, folks. I'm just drawn into you. I'll see what you're saying and I'll connect in. Whether I connect into my guides or I see who's there from the spirit world, I come in to you and we see what's going on. So keep hitting your share button and let's carry on. Um, Linda Handley Rennie. Who keeps moving my ornament? Oh, Linda. I'm just going to connect into your vibration, sweetheart, and we're going to see... Who keeps moving your ornament? Hold on, I'll have a drink. 
Linda, straight away as I'm connecting into your vibration, I'm aware of a gentleman coming in here. I feel your granddad, sweetheart, okay? Because he's just gave me, he showed me my granddad, so it must be a granddad that I'm connecting into. I feel as your granddad pulls into my vibration, he's about five foot seven as he comes in here. He's quite a nice built gentleman. The shoulders are back, the head's held high. Do you want to connect the August month with him? So either his birthday, his passing, or something special happened to him, but August would connect to your granddad in some way. I feel quite a funny what you see is what you get type of gentleman. A hard working gentleman would rather be outdoors than indoors. I feel he was a manual worker, definitely worked with his hand, and I feel he could put his hand to anything as he's coming in here. Beautiful brown eyes as he steps forward. I do want to put glasses on his face, and I feel he's got problems trying to speak. Um, it's like just coming up to his he's passing here, he's struggling to get his words out he knows what he wants to say but he couldn't quite get it, I feel his passing was very very quick because he's snapping his fingers at me as he's coming in here, there is a breathing condition with him as well and I feel he was on a lot of medication because he's making me aware of his medication I feel he's coming around you at this moment in time sweetheart and you've been thinking of the spirit world quite a lot you've been asking them, can you do this, can you help with this and it's like he's coming in as if to say yes we're here, we're around you, we're trying our best to make things go the way you're wanting them to go. I feel at this minute in time you've got a bit of a decision you need to make as well because he's making me aware of this. He's also making me aware that going into the new year, he's saying look forward to February. There's something nice coming in in the February month for you, sweetheart, okay? Take your granddad's love, know that he's in and around you, and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Whew. Right, let's see where I am going to now. Hello, everybody that's saying hello. Just seen a load of hellos on the screen. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Push the share button in the corner. Stay where you are. Comment, and you could be getting yourself a wee free reading right here, right now. Mwah. Let's go for some more. Um, Janice Ellis. Um, John, do you see my partner and me getting things back on track? Let's have a wee look for you, sweetheart. Um, straight away as I'm connecting into your partner here, I get the feeling with your partner that <laughs> I get a selfish feeling. I feel it's all me, me, me with them, okay? I want to say him. Um, I feel it's all me, 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 Janice, with your partner, okay? But I kind of want to say to you where... There's a there's walls up round about you where you're sort of trying, yes, you want this relationship, yes, you're in love, all that, but at the same time, you've got your guard up, your walls are up, it's like, no, I'm not letting them in, I'm not letting them in. Uh, I do feel that things are going to get back on track. I want to say to you, watch in the next three to four days, sweetheart, I just feel he's going to be coming forward to you, okay? He's coming into you, and I just feel this is when things start to turn. This is the changing point for you, okay? Um, as this comes in, I feel then the two of you come together, I could feel the connection getting stronger between the two of you, and this is when the relationship really starts. And it's not that you haven't started a relationship, because you have, but... It's never had the kickstart, okay? I could feel the kickstart coming into it. Sweetheart, I'm also very much aware that you must have an uncle in the spirit world as well because there's an uncle coming in here. And as your uncle steps forward, I want to see he would be on mum's side of the family. So it would be mum's brother. I feel he's about five foot nine as he comes in here. Again, I've got a slim gentleman. I feel I've got brown eyes with him, very short on the top where he's here. And I feel his passing was very, very quick. He was here one minute. He's in the spirit world the next minute. I don't feel he got to say goodbyes to anybody to me. It feels like he's walking down the street and he fell. I actually feel there's something with his head, whether it was an aneurysm or something, but there's something to do with his head as he comes in here. I feel he wants to connect with five, so five would connect with him. I see there's five in his family or he had five kids, but five would connect with him in some way here, sweetheart. Again, I feel he's coming in and he's trying to push this relationship, okay? He's trying to bring it to the next level for you. Take the love and I'll say thank you very much. Mwah. Take care, Janice. Whew. Right, let's have another way looky pooky and see 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 where we are going. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna have a wee drink of juice, folks. Having a drink, having a drink, having a drink, drink, drink. Um do 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 Karen Miller 
Hello John, is it time to move on? Liked and shared. Thank you for your wee like and share, sweetheart. Um, Karen, let's have a wee look and see if it is time to move on. Do you know, um, Karen, straight away as I'm connecting at your vibration, I feel you've made your decision already, sweetheart. Okay, I feel you've already got it in your mind what you're wanting to do, but you are someone where head and heart argue quite a lot, okay? It's like, right, this is what I'm doing then. When you go to bed, you change your mind, you wake up in the morning, you've changed your mind again. I feel it's time to start a new path with you. I'm very aware of a new door starting to open at the side of me here as well, okay? I feel once you make the decision, once you put your foot down and you go with it, then yes, things are going to change and they're going to change quite quickly for you, okay? Because I'm seeing it going from hmm to hmm. Um, very, very quickly here, okay? But it depends on yourself. It depends on how long it's going to take you before you put your foot down, all right? I want to say to you, as we move forward and as we move into next year, you've got a lovely energy around you. I could feel the universe pulling in, the rainbow coming out. So I know next year is going to be the year that you've been waiting for. You wanted it this year, but it never quite come in for you. It's come in, sweetheart, okay? But you need to put that foot down and say, enough's enough, let's go. Take care, lots of love. Okay, for everybody that's just joined in, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're here, you're live with John Spratt, Psychic Medium. A little bit of crazy, but I'm still, I'm here. I'm normal, I'm a human being. Um, anybody that says medium shouldn't swear, medium shouldn't smoke cigarettes, and medium shouldn't drink alcohol, they're talking a load of cod's wallop, okay? It means they're... Blooming noses are stuck up their own asses. Um, I'm here. I'm a real human being. Just my work involves talking to the spirit world. That is it. No different from you going out and stacking yourselves in Tesco's. Um, so if you are here, folks, you could be getting yourself a wee free mini reading. So stay exactly where you are. Do not go anywhere. Make sure you're hitting your share button. Keep your interactions going along the screen as you are doing so. Keep your comments coming in. Make sure those comments are blunt and to the point. You tell me what you want me to look at, okay? It's as simple as that. Let's carry on and let's do some more of your readings. The spirit door is open, remember, folks. So I am doing spirit readings as well, as I've been doing. I think the last three or four readings were all spirit readings. So let's have a look and see where we are going to next. Liz Jenkins McIntyre. Hi, is the Robin that visits, is it my dad, please? Liz, let's connect in and let's have a wee look for you, sweetheart. Liz, as I connect into you here, I'm aware of a gentleman coming in from the spirit world. I feel a very proud gentleman. I want to sit back in my chair. I want to get comfy as he's coming in here. He's like, get comfy, son. And I'm like, all right, okay. Um, I feel that proud feeling from him. I feel very relaxed as he's connecting into me. I feel lovely brown eyes as he pulls in. There is a bit of a mark just on the side of his face here. He's either got a wee scar or a birthmark, a spot, but there's something just on the side of his cheek here. I feel your dad is someone that respected everybody. If you gave him respect, he would give it back to you tenfold, okay? I feel he was a hard-working gentleman and everything he did, he did for his family. He wasn't a big man with his emotions and his feelings. You know, you you wouldn't get him that I love you, darling. You wouldn't get that from him. Um, but I feel he showed it in different ways. Sweetheart, I feel your dad's very much rounding about you quite a lot at this moment in time, okay? Because he's making me aware that you're you're needing that wee bit of extra guidance at the minute. You're needing that little bit of energy at the moment to help push you in the right direction, okay? He wants you to know that he's near. Okay, he wants you to know he's near. Now, it's not only the Robin. I feel there's something else going on round about you here. And as I'm going into your house, I feel there's a photograph or something that keeps moving, whether it's on the wall or something, but it keeps moving. If you're not aware of this, watch out for it in the coming two to three days, okay? Because he's making me aware of doing this. I feel as he's coming in here, though, he's proud. He's as proud as punch as he comes in, and it's like he's saying, I am so proud of her. She has come through everything. No matter what life is thrown at you, you've managed to pull through it and your dad is extremely proud of you for that it is like he's given you an award and then a round of applause here okay he's saying thank you to you so there must have been something you did just before his passing because he wants to thank you for it personally okay He's also making me very much aware that he's saying watch out for watch out for the March time. Watch out for the March time. There's something coming up in March, sweetheart, that you need to watch out for. So pay attention round about that time. Take your dad's love. Know that he is in and around you. And he is saying, Mwah, love you. 
Okay. Um, I don't love you. Your dad does. Just thought I'd make that. I love you too. I love you so. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, take the love. Uh, and let's see where we're going to next. I'm going to have another wee drink of juice. Because, well, it's thirsty work chat. And I mean, I don't get to speak this much when Erin's in. I don't know. I don't know, she's not even here. She's away at her wee, she does a, she teaches first aid on a Tuesday, so she's away to there. She'll be back soon, like, what time are we at? Okay, she'll be back soon. Okay, okay, the new, okay, the new. Where, where did that bloody accent come from? Okay, the new, okay, the new, I need a poo. I didn't really need a poo, it just rhymed with okay, the new. Um, so there we go. Right, let's have a look. Let's see, where are we going to next? Um, love the Christmas tree, thank you. Aww, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> right, um, Dennis Henman, Dennis Henman. Hi John, I miss my mum and gran so much. Are they with you tonight? Dennis, let's have a look for your son um, and let's see who's there from the spirit world. I've just seen somebody's comment saying, is this Wednesday, lol? Yes, this is Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. Uh, Dennis, as I'm connecting into the, the spirit world here. Oh, oh, lovely. I was away to say, I don't have your mum, but I do. Um, I've got your mum coming in here. Now, is your mum's connecting into me? She's about five foot six, your mum, as she comes in. She's quite a nice built lady, okay? Because she's saying, I'm not the skinniest, but I'm not the biggest son. I'm just nice, all right? I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of your mum. I feel she is quite Jekyll and Hyde sort of feeling from her. She could be one minute, then she could be the next minute. Um, so I've got that Jekyll and Hyde feeling coming from her. I need to connect the May month with your mum so it's either her birthday, her passing or something special happened to her, okay? But the May month would connect to your mum in some way. I feel your mum as she's coming in wears glasses as she pulls forward here. I don't feel she had to wear them all the time. It's like she just needs them for reading and watching the TV. I don't want to make them a permanent fixture. She's got lovely dark brown hair as she comes in here. Very minimalistic. I don't feel she's someone to wear loads of makeup, maybe a wee bit of lip, eh? That's it at a limit as she's coming in here. I feel she wants to connect with three, so three, and I feel it's three children that she would have had yourself, and you've got um, another two brothers or sisters. Um, but she's connecting with the three of you. She's coming in here. She's also got two dogs with her, and I feel they are Alsatian sized dogs, okay? So two dogs also come with her, and I feel dogs are dogs are always for strength, so I know your mum's giving you that bit of strength to help push you forward at this moment in time. I also feel with your mum as she connects into me, she likes a good laugh, okay? I also feel she enjoyed a good gin every now and then, she just pop gin on my tongue and when they do that she needs to acknowledge a birthday so there's a birthday either just been or just coming out but she's acknowledging that birthday as well okay now Dennis as she's pulling in round about yourself I feel she wants to talk about she wants to talk about you and decisions at the moment I feel where it's something to do with the house okay there's a decision to be made about the house and I feel it's like you either need to sell it or you need to rent it out Okay, because you're wanting out of where you are and I do feel it's your home, this isn't rented, I feel this is your home and she's saying, come on, you need to make the decision, okay, of what you're wanting to do. She's making me very much aware of a new home coming into you. I actually feel you've already had news of this um, because she's making me aware that it's already come through, okay. Take the love and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Bless you. Right. Let's have another wee looky dookie dookie and see where we're going, going, going next. He's all having fun. He's having fun. Yeah, yeah. Who put angry faces there? I just seen angry faces going on my screen. That's not acceptable behaviour. Not a, not a, not acceptable behaviour at all. But I'll let you off because I'm in a good mood. I'm always in a good mood, but I'm in a super good mood because I'm always in a good mood. So there we go. Uh, how many good moods could you get a good mood mood? There we go. Who knows how many good moods a good mood could mood mood good. Um, right, let's carry on while you're reading. Sorry, my screen has just froze on me. I am trying to get my screen to move again. <laughs> what the heck have I done? Hey, there we go. Uh, sorry, the old RMP300, a.k.a. the iPad, decided it was going to have a little brain fart. And it stopped working for a moment. Oh, Christ, I'm now in big screen. <sighs> Can't see anything now. Oh, thank you. 
you know, you always know when somebody's got an iPad because they sit and do this, do that, to try and get everything. Why do we do that? Why do we do it? I mean, it doesn't make it fix any quicker, does it? It really doesn't. It just makes you look like an absolute twat. Never mind. Never mind. We could be twats. Anywho, let's carry on with your free readings, folks. If you've just joined in, there is a button down the bottom there called Share. Hit it a couple of times. Doot, doot, doot. And keep your comments coming and your interactions. You're here, you're live with John Spratt, Psychic Medium. And we're doing your live free mini readings from the iPad. Right, let's see. Where am I going to next? Ah, da, 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 da. Diane Thomas, Diane Thomas, please come through, Dad. Love her. Diane Thomas, I'm coming into your vibration, sweetheart. Okay, and as I'm connecting into your energy here, um, I'm aware of it. I'm aware of a gentleman coming in. I do feel it's your dad that I'm connecting into here. I feel he's about five foot. Five foot seven, five foot eight as he's coming in here. He's a nice built gentleman as he connects. And again, I've got dark brown eyes as he pulls forward to me. I feel uh, I feel a gentleman who would argue black is white, white is black. You know, I just feel him in for an argument while as he's coming in here. I feel he's a hard working gentleman, most definitely. And I feel everything he did, he did for his family. I feel as he's connecting in here, I need to pull September forward. So September must mean something to him. Either his birthday, his passing, or something special happened to him. But September would mean something to him. I feel as he's coming in here, he's, he's full of blinking stories as he's coming in here. It's like he's saying, right, John, I'm going to tell you this one and I'm going to tell you this one. And I'm like, let's just keep it simple. OK, it's just a free live mini reading. Let's not go and indulge too deep. Um, but he's aware that he loved to tell these stories. OK, um, I feel as he comes in here, he isn't a man of big words. You know, I feel, yes, if it was something he was interested in, he would go for it. He would talk for Britain. But when he was in, he just sort of sucked quietly. OK, I feel that he enjoys to have a wee tipple every now and then because he's making me aware of a wee drinky poos every now and then. And I know when he does that, he's acknowledging a celebration round about now. So there's either a birthday just been or just come up. I'm also very much aware with him as he comes in here that he wants to pull by your side at this moment in time and he's saying he wants to see you smiling, okay? Your dad loved to, to smile. He had a lovely sense of humour and I feel he's trying to bring this forward to you at the moment. He wants to see you smiling. He's saying he wants to see you enjoy this time of year. He wants you to bring the Christmas in and he really wants it to take off for you this time, okay? He's by your side and he's saying he hasn't left. He's never gone anywhere, okay? But he needs you to know that he's there. So take his love and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Right, let's see. Um, Tiffany Baldwin, real people never get picked. Uh, I always pick a real person, sweetheart. And if you don't, if you need proof of that, just go and look at my visitors post because I tell everybody when they've had a reading live to leave a visitors post. Um, I was actually going to connect into your energy because I was drawn to your name, but for your crappy comment, you could do one. Right, let's go. Let's have a look at some proper people um, who enjoy watching and who. I like their energy of, because I don't like the energy of that person very much, because of their sarky comment. Um, so let's have a wee look. I just get really dry by people sometimes, you know. I think, oh, mighty. You know, why comment? Just go and pick your nose in the corner of the room or something. Just do something else. Don't comment if you don't want to be here. I'm not forcing you. Jeezy whiz. Um, there you Diane Thomas. I'm real, and she just got a reading. Yes. Me. People are just absolutely crazy, aren't they? Um, right, where are we going? Do, 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 do. Right. Um, hi, John. How does this work? Really, really simple. Just comment. Be blunt and to the point. You tell me what you want me to look at. That's how it works. Okay. Um, we didn't do beating around the bush. We didn't just do any of that. We just go for it. Okay. Um, tell me exactly what you want me to look at. And that's what we do. As long as you're interacting with your wee loves and thumbs and all that stuff. And as long as you're hitting the share button, 
I could possibly be coming to yourself, okay? Right, I'm having a drink of juice. I'm having a drink of juice, folks, before I go on to the next one. Right, um... <laughs> oh dear, we're all calling somebody a cheeky beggar. Um, I'm real. You're all real. I feel like I'm watching Pinocchio. <laughs> I'm a real boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, dearie me. Um, right, we... <laughs> I've lost, I've lost the plot, folks. <laughs> Hold on a minute till I get back into my spirit zone. Gee whiz, you've all got me talking about Pinocchio now. Right, um, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Right, um, Tracy Murray, Tracy Murray, I'm coming to yourself, sweetheart, and all you've put is wish I could get a reading. Well, Tracy... Your wish has come true. I am coming to yourself, sweetheart, okay? Tracy, as I am connecting into your vibration, I am very much aware of a lady wanting to come forward here. As this lady's coming in, I feel I've got your grandmother, okay? Now, I feel your grandmother is a wee force to be reckoned with. I feel a real bossy woman is just coming in here. What you see is what you get. I feel a very peaceful passing with her. She's saying to me, son, I had a peaceful passing. I closed my eyes and I went to sleep, okay? She's making me aware she's got lovely brown eyes as she comes in here. She's got lovely soft skin as she's connecting into my vibration as well because I want to start rubbing my face with her. I feel she's a woman who would just say it as it is. There is no hold... No holding back with her. What you see is very much what you get, okay? I feel there is a wee bit of stomach problems with her and I feel she's got a bit of a problem with her back and her legs because she's saying, my back and my legs, son, were giving me some problems. I feel as she's coming in, she's slightly, she's got slight memory problems because I feel where I can't quite find my words, okay? I can't quite get what I'm trying to say and what I'm wanting to do so I know there's problems where words as she's coming in here, okay? I feel she wants to come in, she wants to connect to your vibration at this minute in time and she's saying to you that things are going to pick up, things are going in the right direction for you, you just need to hold on a wee bit longer. I'm also very much aware as I'm pulled into you here that there's something to do with the house, I'm wanting to fix something in the house because she's connecting into that as well, sweetheart, okay? Take the love and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Okay. Folks, I'm going to move you a wee bit um, because Mrs. Spratty's coming in. So bear.